Greetings, good people of radiologic technology. I am going to do some digital monitor QC stuff for you today using some test patterns and my eyeballs. I'm going to do this on our Barco monitors because it has the Medi-Cal QA web software that has all the test patterns we need to look at. So let's jump right in and dive in with the SIMPTI pattern. The SIMPTI pattern is the ACR recommended pattern that should be used to evaluate digital display performance. It is a standard component of any monitor QC program. So let me click on test patterns. I'll navigate to the end. It's alphabetical. And there's my SIMPTI pattern. So what I'm looking for in the SIMPTI pattern is this box right here, the 0 to 5% box and the 95 to 100% box. If I see those two boxes, the SIMPTI pattern test passes. So we can go on to geometric distortion. Geometric distortion arises from problems that cause the displayed image to be geometrically different from the original image. This can affect relative size and shape of image features. We're going to use the TG18QC pattern and I believe that's back near the front. Where is the TG18QC pattern? Silly me, it's alphabetical. There's the TG18QC pattern, so I click on it. And this will show me any geometric distortion. So I can look at these parallel lines and see that they are equidistant on both sides there's no pin cushion or barrel effects going on here all of these lines are nice and parallel and straight there's no no geometric distortion at all in this display so that's good and moving on we will do luminance response a digital image is stored as a matrix of pixel values. These pixel values are also grayscale values. These are converted into luminance values through a lookup table in the monitor software. The luminance response to a digital display device refers to how accurately it converts the pixel volumes to luminance values. The test pattern for this is TG18CT. So let me go back to the front. There it is, TG18. Okay, so in this pattern, what I'm looking for are the little half moons. I should be able to see one or both sides of the half moons, at least two on each row. So I can see two there, I can see two there, I can see two there, I see two there. That's pretty good. They kind of disappear here in the black areas, but you see two half moons on all four rows, that pattern is good. So we know our luminance response is good. So next we would do display resolution if this was a non-barco monitor because the barco monitor can just run its calibration it doesn't have a display resolution check it, it are, it's constantly checking itself it knows its display resolution is good so I can't show you the TG18CX pattern because they don't even have it loaded. Last is the display noise pattern which is TG18AFC it's right here. We click on it and we see the the dots here kind of see the dots here the noise is evaluated with the TG18 AFC test pattern each quadrant the two largest target sizes should be visible the monitor is considered to have passed if one quadrant fails so I can see dots in this target I can see dots in that target it's pretty crappy though the noise display is uh, not good on this monitor we should probably look at uh, changing its settings to uh, make this pattern pop a little better so not happy with our noise display settings we should be seeing at least three quadrants of white boxes and the whole top half is not good so it's not out of specs but it's not where I would like it to be so we'll be doing a recalibration on that and that is how you uh, run the test patterns and evaluate 
the monitors. The other test we didn't do was reflection. You, obviously, I would just stand back and see if there was any light reflecting on these monitors. That would be uh, a visual thing, as they all are, but without anything happening on the screen. So that's how you uh, run the test patterns and how you evaluate them. Thank you for watching.